Yo, what's good, everybody? It's me here at Mains and Cross. And guys, I want you guys to check out another episode here on IGTV with Mains and Cross. If you guys haven't checked out our YouTube, please subscribe there at Mains and Cross's Unstrung Unfiltered. We have some great content for you tonight. Guys, everybody's always debating about leather grips. You know, I know I don't have like every single one here. However, I got some elite ones. And this one was the most important one because everybody's like, dude, it has a $20 price tag. And I definitely wanted to see how, how it is. So shout out to Anthony at uh, Strings and Rackets. Um, they're in Washington hooking me up with this uh, Yonex leather. So let's start off the back on what I'm cu cu currently have here at Mains and Crosses, which is the Williston one, guys. Uh, if you've seen these before, it has like an orange hue to it off the back. Um, this is obviously a used one, but you can definitely tell this is like the more orangey one. Uh, also, it's a very thin, thin leather grip. Um, and when I say thin, I mean like it's 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 thin. So if you're customizing a racket, you don't need that much beef on it or adding too much um, static weight. This is a great option. Also, I found it a little interesting that it's like at two centimeters. You see that? It's a very thin, you know, leather grip. So I, I feel like it's great. It's fine. Um, it has some cushion right in the middle here, um, but it's a very thin um, leather. Uh, I'm not too gaga over it. I mean, if I have it, I have it. It's great. There we go. Next. This was hard to find, guys. If you guys don't know much about the, the head leather, um, probably because you don't know about it because they rarely have it out here. I was hap happened to have uh, a couple sets from overseas, and uh, I got my uh, hand on these. This actually feels great. So every single um, grip, I'm going to compare it to the last, all right? So like I did Wilson, so I'm going to compare this to the Wilson. Off the back, just the width is different. Um, but up, 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 this is two and a half, two and a half, two and a half centimeters. So this is about a half a centimeter larger. I like this. I like this length. I feel like it's normal. It's a, it's a, it's the industry standard for overgrips and stuff like that too. So I feel like the, the Wilson one was like a little, you know, compare that. It looks like a little baby. Um, you definitely feel the, this is really nice. You know, this is what I'm currently using on my clash. Uh, I really like this leather grip. It looks great. Um, it has one um, imprint of the, the logo there. However, the middle is very plush, very soft. Feels amazing. Um, like I said, I, I enjoy it much. Uh, if I had a choice between this and the Wilson, uh, the one previously, uh, I'll definitely use the head. Out of all of them, Wilson is the most orange, in which I, I think there's an eyesore. And I, I, of course, I put an overgrip over it, so it's not the end of the world. However, like I said, you know, when you kind of have it bare, you kind of, this definitely looks good. Kind of have a little tobacco, sunbursting feel. You know, kind of a, you know, a nice little leather feel yeah, or look to it. So there we go. If you guys mess with head, you know, like, their leather is pretty awesome. I, I couldn't find a place to, to buy it in the U.S. yet. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough. Obviously, I can just use the Wilson that I get all the time. So it doesn't matter. However, it was nice to pick up six of these when I was out and about overseas. Ah, the third one, which is the Babula uh, leather grip. Very, very amazing grip. It actually has a kind of an old school tobacco ash type feel. You know, it's kind of like, um, man, these remind me of guitars, you know? They have the cherry sunburst or they have like the regular sunburst or the desert sun, whatever it may be. Um, I do like the gold inlay here or the gold, you know, print. Yeah, I think it looks baller. Um, definitely a little bit more cushier than the last. Like this one. Well, obviously this has been used too. However, they feel about the same way. Let's check out the, the width. Uh, this is also, uh, there we go. Yeah, I would say two and a, two and a half um, centimeters. Um, so it's like the industry standard. I think it's great, feels great. Um, and the touch and feel is also, I think a lot of people who, when they change to a leather grip, even though they use maybe another brand or whatever, they always kind of come to this. So, so far out of the three, I would say Babalot's first, head second, and then um, the Wilson last. Actually, you know what? Swash it. I'm going to put head first. I like the head feel. I like the look. I like the feel. It looks expensive. Babalot, the ass just kind of makes it look like it's dried up a little bit, even though it just... It looks great also. Now, last but not least, the amazing, amazing Yonex Ultimate Leather. So the back it says, um, Watashi wa genki desu ka? No, I don't speak Japanese as well. So, but I mean, the instruction, I feel like this is like comfort and this is feel. I, I don't know, but I tell you how to do it and like that. However, this is was the anomaly. 
And you guys know, like, most of the Yannick stuff is made uh, in their factory in, in Japan. However, this one is not made in Taiwan. So, let's see how it is. Um, you know what? Off the back, $20? Rick, really, like, when I pay $20, I can probably get two of these or two of the, the Wilson for darn sure. But, but really, like, 20 bucks retail for this? Let me see. Wait, you know what? I, you know what? I might just pay 20 bucks. If this is actually, it has this sunburst tan feel. It feels really great compared to the grit on the head and, and obviously the, the bobble lot. And see, this is kind of, it's almost similar in color. Remember I told you this is a little dry. It looked like a little dry leather. This one has that natural tan leather look. All the other ones a little more kind of orangey, especially the, the Wilson and freshly brand new. They're, they're a little orange. However, this one gives you that kind of, I don't know, a chestnut sunburn or, you know, sunburst or whatever. I feel really great. Um, the back, it looks like it's a different piece. Maybe it's, here's the difference. The leather feel goes all the way across. Do you see that? There you go. From here to here, this actually feels nice and soft from here to here versus something like, um, if you see this one, um, it's a bad example. However, um, on the um, that was a bad example. But I feel like the other, see how, here we go. See how this one has like a little tab, a little wing. Same thing with the definitely with the um, the Wilson. You got the little wing there. Um, this one, I feel like it's a one piece or one piece leather from here to here. It's not like it's clamped and pressed on the side. So I feel like. Quality control, this looks great. And then you get you get two, you get two imprints of the Yonix here, so that's kind of amazing. Um, but besides that, this is not bad, my people. 20 bucks, I might have to think about it. I think there's there's a market for it. I think people will love it. It does have that smell, though. Fresh out the pack. Even this bottle that was fresh out the pack earlier, I just opened it today. It does not have that leather smell. <laughs> this one, you can kind of feel like it's a fabric-type smell. I like that. That's kind of, you know... That's, that's what's up. So that being said, guys, you see my little review. Guys, let me know what you think. Um, obviously, this is going to be premiered on 